I am back at the Dollar Tree today. I'm looking for some special items for my Operation Christmas Child's shoe boxes. So come along and let's see what we can find. All other summer toys are out and I love this hop skip rope. My friend Val just packed one in one of her shoe boxes. I used to love that as a child. Be sure to look at the 4th of July items. This is a great time if you are doing some superheroes or a Wonder Woman to look for some red, white, and blue items that might go with your shoebox theme. I found these stars on a stick and they also had the, fa um, the fairy wings and those can be folded up and put in a shoebox if you were doing a fairy box. I love all the books. The Discovery uh, series is really pretty nice, and also the Smithsonian series. So I did find this Hello Kitty book that I thought was really cute, very colorful, and just a few words in the story. And then I was checking out the coloring books, and I found some new coloring books that are a little bit smaller, but the pages are nice and white and the covers are a very solid thick cover. So it came with the children on the front. This one has birds on it and birds inside. This was a jungle animal theme. And the last one was under the sea. So those were new. I've never seen those before in my store. So they were really nice quality. I also found these books that are like jumbo size adult coloring books. I've never seen these before and they were beautiful, but they are really big. I guess you could like fold it over to put it in a shoe box, um, but the pages were really pretty and they also had jungle animals. I found some like superhero books. Those are always great to add to your shoebox gifts. They have nice pictures, not a lot of words. There was the Batman series and uh, the other one was DC Friends. And then they also had Wonder Woman. So those are a nice quality. And then I went over into socks. They've had a lot of socks lately, mostly for the men, but I guess you could use them for girls as well. And they have a lot of funny characters on them. This one was Tony the Tiger from Frosted Flakes. And then I did find some girls Barbie socks. This is one pair of sock for the set, SpongeBob and Snoopy. They seem to be a pretty nice quality. And the one that just I just pulled out is Care Bears. So be on the lookout for those. I only saw them in one of my stores. And this was Minnie Mouse. And this video is from two stores in the Maryland area. I always like the Goody brand products. If you can find those at the Dollar Tree, those are a pretty good quality. And they had a nice spring collection here. And the Scunchy brand, that's also a very good quality. So they had some nice hair clips and some uh, scrunchy ties, more little clips. So that's also a good quality brand that you can find at the Dollar Tree. These stretchy headbands, these have been around for a little bit. I like the this style and I like those colors. I think those colors are new. I love the soft ponytail holders. I get those from time to time. Those are repeat items. And these headbands they've had out from time to time. I do love these spring colors. I was really excited to find these little purses or makeup bags by Juncture. They come in a bright pink, a dark blue, a mint green, and a cream color. These are really pretty. I only saw them in one store. I love these new pencils in the learning tree section. They had two styles. One was like a shark style, a little more boyish, and one had lots of pinks and bright colors. And these Jot brand 
um, bubble poppers slash notebooks. These were out last summer and I just saw my store put them out again for this summer, I guess. And they come in lots of bright colors. That's a cute little item to add to your shoebox gifts. The push pencils, they've been out for a while too. Those are nice to tuck into a pencil pack as an added fun item to your shoebox. Way up high on the shelf, I found the dual-ended colored pencils. And this is an item I really like from the Dollar Tree. I've used it in the past. Okay, friends, if you're a Cricut user, please tell me if the Dollar Tree Cricut material is any good. I'm a new Cricut user. I found this Pretty Faith iron-on with the jewels. They only had the word faith, but I thought that was really pretty. And over in the household department, they had these bottles that they have no straw in them, so it makes them really good if you want to pack them up with things. They had a couple of different characters, Stitch, Minecraft, Avengers, and Harry Potter, I believe. And now over in Toys. I really love this three card pack of matching games. It comes with a mat to play on. It's a really nice item. I have purchased it in the past. And this is new, a Slinky Junior. I was excited to see this. They also now have Apples to Apples, which is a really fun game, similar to the Uno size card game. The tie beanies are back. My store seems to just get the same ones over and over again. These are on a key chain hook that can be attached to a backpack. And I love punch balls. I love these as a kid. They just got a new supply in of Mini, Avengers, and Mickey, and they come two to a pack. Over in Toys, I also saw these new ponies. I guess they are unicorns. They come in a bright blue, a bright yellow, a bright pink, and a bright purple. They have a really cute expression on their face, and the quality seems really nice. But when I saw those before, they used to have like a little comb attached to them. But what I figured out, <laughs> In the store in another bin were the other ponies, and these are smaller. They do have a comb attached to them, but they are Pegasus. But they do match the bigger ponies, so that would be a cute little set to add, like a mom and a child. I thought those are really sweet. Next, I found this uh, fun pack of glow items. These are permitted in Operation Christmas Child shoeboxes. It has a necklace, a bracelet, and a wand. And it comes in a unicorn and a dinosaur. I have not seen these before, so those look like a pretty good item. I would have to try that out, I think, before I send it, but they look pretty cute. And I even found a penny item. Surprise, surprise, lucky me. All right, let's take a look at what I got. I really just went for a few things that I was hoping to find for some of my boxes that I'm working on right now. And that's mostly what I use Dollar Tree for, is to find um, some filler th items or something to go with a theme or something specific. And uh, you can find some nice quality things there. I would be wary because it's supposed to go up to $1.50, which makes me really sad. <laughs> which makes me think I may not be going as often to Dollar Tree if I find better quality items at a lower price at other stores. But we'll see how it goes. Um, for now, it's still $1.25, so I am still shopping there and still picking up some items here and there. Um, so one of the first things I love that I got on this trip were these little um, purses or makeup bags and it's like a woven print if you can see it um, actually using I've already packed these up so this is the only one I got a couple of these and I'm actually going to use these as pencil cases or they can use it as a purse if they'd like but I love these I love how bright the color was so I picked that up 
These water bottles, I've already packed these up too. I got a bunch of these water bottles that do not have straws in them. They're nice quality. They have some character themes on them as you saw in the video. And I'm making pencil packs out of these. My friend Denise L, she inspired me um, with some that she did. And I'm gonna show you a picture of what I've done already and packed up for, um, for pencil pack filler. So you can fit a lot in there. Pencils fit if they're not sharpened, um, but they it's a nice little pencil pack uh, container. Okay, I also got some more scissors. These are my favorite scissors from Dollar Tree. It's a Jot brand and it's two set. I've shown you these in the past. Last time I went, I got the blacks and the grays and this time I picked up some purple and blues. I haven't seen these in a long time. These are the double edged um, colored pencils. And I like these sometimes if you have a box that you wanna get colored pencils in but you don't have a whole lot of space. Um, these are kinda nice because they have colors on each end. Now they are $1.25 and you can get these much cheaper at back to school sales at um, Walmart, but um, these serve a purpose for some of my boxes, so I just picked up two of those. I picked up this um, pretty puzzle from Puzzle Bug. It's a zebra. They had some pretty puzzles out there. I didn't get any video of it, but I really like that one. I found two little dorbles in packages that I'm not sure if I'm gonna open them or leave them in the package and let the child open them for a surprise. So I haven't decided. Let me know, what do you think? Should I open these ahead of time? I guess I could save on the trash, but then it also might be fun for the child to open this up and look at the packaging. Let me know what you think in the comments. So I got two of those. All right, these are the new Slinkies that I saw. <laughs> these are great. I probably should have gotten a few more of these these are a perfect size, and so I opened one up to show you what it looks like. So it's a really good quality slinky. And so, you know, lots of fun for a kid. I love these when I was a kid. So um, if you haven't seen them in your stores, this was the first time I saw them, and it looks like this. It's a blue box, and it says Slinky Junior. Uh, they have these bandages out again. Um, the mer they have mermaids, llamas, pineapples, dinosaurs. I picked up one box of dinosaurs. They're really cute and I've been packing them in my hygiene kits. I love their um, card series over by Learning Tree and I picked up a Hello Kitty matching learning card set. Uh, oh, and I also found this mini Thomas the train, but there was only one. I've never seen these at Dollar Tree before, um, so I just picked up one. That I will open and take out of the package. I love this juncture purse with the butterflies on it. It's like a, you know, like an over-the-shoulder bag and has like a little matching, um, I guess you could use it either as a makeup bag or a pencil case, but I thought those were really pretty, so I got those. I got um, some fabric. I do love the um, fat quarters they have at Dollar Tree. So I got this one that has a game system on it, like a gaming controller on it. And then I did get a couple of books. So I got the Wonder Woman book. I like their book selections. I did get these uh, Jungle Animal coloring activity books. I really like these, they're not too thick, they have a nice solid cover, and the pictures are nice and white. But the funny thing is, <laughs> is that it shows jungle animals, but inside there's all kinds of, there's like cows and horses. Quite honestly, I don't even see, well there's a jungle animal, there's a jungle animal. So there's a few jungle animals but I really like that, so I got two of those. I needed another doodle journal, so I got one of those. And then this was my penny find. 
you saw that I got a, uh, an item for a penny and I wasn't sure what it was. And I didn't want to ask the cashier um, to, you know, bring it to her attention. But when I got out, I saw this art frame. It's like a doodle book for a child. And they can doodle the pictures and it has a frame around it. I've never seen this in a store before. Um, but if you see them, pick them up because it was only a penny. My store only had one. So that was a great find today. I got the Hello Kitty and Friends little book that you saw. I picked up two of these Smithsonian books called Dogs, Dogs, Dogs. I love these Smithsonian books because they have just nice quality pictures um, and just a few words. So I thought that was really cute. I got two of those. And then I also picked up two of the cat adult coloring books. I think this one has been out for a while, but um, the pictures are really cute. And if you, you hear chewing in the background, that's my puppy chewing on his bone like a good boy. Um, okay, what else did I get? I did pick up some of these um, wall decals for Gabby. Uh, for a couple of Gabby boxes. I did get the punch ball for the Avengers. It has a Hulk, and I think that's an Iron Man in there. Yeah, that's Iron Man. So it comes with two. I used to love these as a child, and I know that this is not a long-term toy because eventually it might tear or pop, but I got so much enjoyment out of these as a kid, so I think a child will really enjoy those. And I got some socks. I just got a pair of Snoopy socks I thought were really cute. A pair of mini socks. A pair of, three pair of Juncture boys socks with the game controller on it. You can kind of see where I'm going with that. <laughs> and then I did um, probably splurge on this. These were $5. I don't ever usually spend that much on a set of socks. But I fell in love with these. They're a Looney Tunes brand. And they have bugs. And they have um, the girl bunny and the cat and um, Tweety Bird. I just thought they were super cute for $5. And there's six pair in here. So if I were to buy one for $1.25, that would add up to more than $5. So that's kind of how I justified it. So I really like those. I got another one of these juncture bags, over the shoulder bags. And I got two, um, two pink drawstring bags, juncture brand. And that's my haul. If you notice, I've been clearance shopping a lot lately, so I, I couldn't overdo it on these trips for, uh, for Dollar Tree, but Dollar Tree kind of helps me fill in some of the spaces and extra things that I need for my shoe boxes. And you can really find some great finds there, so um, don't count Dollar Tree out. But when it goes to $1.50, I'll have to reassess and see if everything, um, if the quality gets better, or you know what exactly happens with that. Is it only some things that are going to be $1.50, and other things will be $1.25? That could be kind of confusing, but I guess we'll see. I haven't heard the full details but um, time will tell. So thanks so much for coming shopping with me today at the Dollar Tree for our Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. I hope your packing is going great. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. It helps to get the videos out and share them with all the other packers out there that we either have already as packers or we might encourage them to become packers for Operation Christmas Child. So God bless you, have a great weekend, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.